Matthew Association fans, he looks a bit of a tricky horse. You've actually won on him before, though. What do you need to do to get him right on race day? Oh, he's just got to be a happy horse race day. He's got to be in the right mind frame and uh, let him do his work. He's had a couple of runs. You rode him last time, Matt. Did you like the way that he was finishing off at the Valley? I think you must still. Uh, the race was run okay. He, when they went for the sprint, he initially got a, a bit flat-footed, but he seemed to pick up nicely and uh, hit the line well. Up to 1,650 metres. That's been his trip before, but at Happy Valley. What about on the dirt on Sunday? Well, he's run well on the dirt before he's, he ran a second. So uh, hopefully he gets a nice run and uh, brings his last piece of form to the races and uh, hopefully we run close. He didn't show much last season, but then after the summer he's definitely improved. So, and he's been doing well in the trial. So horse has improved and I think he liked the surface. So you're confident going on to the surface because uh, as you say with that trial, since his last run, he looked like he was full of running over the concluding stages. Yes, it did. Um, we always thought that he's a miler, so the distance would suit him. And the surface, like he had, um, like his last three trials on the dirt, it performed really well. So I think he'll do well this time. You've ridden him, as I say, in a trial or so a gallop recently. From that first run, is he a fitter horse heading into Sunday? Yes. Um, at his first one, he was still feeling a little bit heavy, and but then after he came back from his first one, his fitness definitely improved. And what about the gait? Uh, it's not ideal, but then it's got a little bit of pace in this race, so hopefully they can go fast enough and I can just slot, slot him in and find him a good posse. Chad Dealmaker, that looked a pretty easy win last time out. I reckon I could have even won on him. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, he's just gone to a whole new level since he's joined Jimmy's stable. Um, is obviously his win at the end of last season and, and then first up. Um, to be honest with the lead he had, as soft as it was, he probably wasn't titled to put a little gap on them, but he did win well and up in class now with less weight. Hopefully he can continue on his winning ways. Does he have to lead? There's a horse like Hank Fleming in the race who could press on from a wide gate. Is he one dimensional or could you take a sit if necessary? He can take a sit. When he won his first race, he took a sit. Um, he didn't lead that day and um, he's quick out of the gates, he's got good gate speed so he can get across and then um, I can just assess from there, but um, he's pretty versatile to ride. You've ridden him in his last couple of gallops, so how's he come through his last run? Yeah, I think he's come on nicely. I think he's he, um, he's taken good benefit from his first up run and um, he's going to run very well. I was notified through social media that he went for a 15k run yesterday. Just Is that part of your regular routine heading into a race meeting to be at your peak fitness? Uh, yeah, I enjoy running. Um, thinking about doing the Hong Kong Marathon later, oh, early next year, so getting into it. Blake Warroom, you rode him down the straight for his first run this season. Were you happy the way he was getting to the line that day? Yeah, I was very happy with him. He, um, you know, wasn't expected for him to run that that well and, and get that close, especially being over a thousand metres. But he he exceeded, I think, everyone's expectations to run run that well and. Getting up to 1,400 on the weekend, I think he's better suited and hopefully he can run a couple of placings closer and get, get the victory. You rode him in a piece of work recently, he's at a month between runs. How do you feel he is after that race? Uh, look, I, I don't think the horse is going um, any better or any worse. I think he's holding his form. I just hope the, 40, the 1,400's um, going to suit him better, which, which it should, and I think he's well placed. From gate four, obviously over a thousand metres, they're a bit quick for him on settling. Uh, over the 14, though, where do you see him in the run? Look, I expect him to be midfield. I, th I don't think he's a horse that settles um, on speed. I think he's a horse that likes to get balanced early and build in into the race. So I don't think we'll change um, the way he likes to be um, ridden. So I just think that if he can lob at midfield, we've got the chances all, all around us. We've banded brothers and follow me. So if we can get on the back of one of them and, and blend into it, that would be nice. Lone Eagle, Blake, he's won two trials. You've been on board for both of them. Has he given you a good feel? He sure has, yes. Um, he's felt uh, extremely well. He's trialled very good. I think it's there for everyone to see how good the horse is going. So if he can replicate that form into his race, I think he'll be extremely hard to beat.
looking at that most recent troll, it looked like there were times where he was struggling to hold him, he was travelling that keenly. <laughs> yes, he's quite a bold going horse and you know that's you know, that's the difficult thing. Ricky's sort of instructed me to try and get the horse to settle and get some cover, but he's he's just wanted to free roll and get and get um, and get running. So it's just trying to curb his enthusiasm and, and get him to enjoy his 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 racing a little bit and if he can do that on the weekend, I think he's going to be hard to beat. You know, he's he's an overseas form. He's from Australia, and he's running some good races back home. So I'm optimistic that he's going to run very well on the weekend. Just on your own form, you've been here for the first month of the season now. Winner with Green Dispatch, a suspension, a few ups and downs. Who, how do you evaluate the first month of the season from your point of view? Ah, uh, look, yeah. Overall, I think it's been pretty good. We've been around the mark. Um, you know, winner of a lot of placings, fourths and fifths. Uh, it's been pretty good. It's a learning curve. It's a good experience so far. Um, not where I want to be yet, but it's, we're here for the long haul and um, I'm enjoying it so far.